here's your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Good morning and we have a cool but dry stretch of weather for the next few days. So let's get you to those three key things. Key thing number one, the chilly weather. We have 20s out there now. Highs only in the 30s today, but there will be a warm up as we head into next week, especially from the middle towards the end of next week, which we'll show you in just a few minutes. That dry streak will continue. There is a chance of precipitation towards the end of the seven day forecast. And speaking of precipitation, let's quickly just review some snow stats. It was an interesting February, right? Because we started to get on pace to being above normal for snowfall, but because things have really quieted down in the snow snowfall department. We're now pretty close to normal, so the normal is kind of caught up to us. In fact, so far the season 31.2 inches of snow normally at this point we'd have 29. So we'll see what happens for the rest of March. We do not have any snow showing up in the seven day forecast, but we know the deal here in March and April. We can still get snow and of course we'll keep you updated on that. But the forecast is fairly dry in the short term and we have sunshine here for Newport Harbor. Some blue skies here over Providence. The camera shaking around just a little bit. A little bit of a breeze out there today and the breezes stay busy, although not necessarily really gusty today. You will notice those winds. It's 19 in Smithfield, 24 Providence, 24 New Bedford, 25 in Newport and 24 in Westerly. The breezes not so bad at this point in the morning, five miles an hour from the northwest in Smithfield, eight in Providence, 13 Newport, 14 for Block Island. And our wind chills are running in the low teens in places like Smithfield, Providence, you're at 15, 14 in Newport, and 16 you feel like for Block Island. Low pressure to our northeast, high pressure to the west, and that's funneling in those breezes right over Canada here. So it's still pulling in a very cold source of air, and that pretty much is the pattern for the next couple days. So until we get out of this pattern, those temperatures will stay below normal. Newport Bridge, just beautiful this morning, and our forecast in Providence today calls for low to mid 30s for high temperatures, 33 at noontime, 35 at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Some breezes out of the northwest, 8 to 15 with gusts of around 20 or 25. This afternoon at 2 p.m., here are your forecasted high temperatures, and there are really no huge temperature differences by location today. I'm thinking mid 30s in Providence, mid 30s in Newport, same for you in Westerly, and low to mid 30s for places like Smithfield. Our temperatures tonight will start to tumble to pretty chilly levels. So we go down into the low 20s at midnight and then upper teens to low 20s very early tomorrow morning. Outside of Providence, I would not be surprised if uh, some of those numbers slip into the mid to upper teens, especially if those winds calm a bit. And our seven day forecast, less breeze tomorrow for Sunday, but notice we still only get into the upper 30s. But then here is that progress, 41 on Monday, Tuesday 56 and then Wednesday and Thursday. Look at that potentially into the low to mid 60s. Now we will have that flow of wind from the west southwest likely. So that means the coast will be cooler with those chilly ocean temperatures, but still not bad considering to some of these temperatures we've been experiencing lately. And we will be tracking at least the chance for some showers as we head into Friday. But right now that is iffy. You can always get more updates on our website at WPRI.com. Kate.